Draw My Life, Matthew McConaughey by Will Meadows. Matthew McConaughey was born on November 4th, 1969, Uvalde, Texas. Thereafter, his family soon moved to Longview, Texas, where he spent the rest of his childhood. Opting out of his father's oil business that he absolutely hated, Matthew attended the University of Texas in Austin. There, he initially majored in law. Crazy, right? But soon after, literally the day before the finals, after all of this unhappiness all semester, he finally changed his major to film. After majoring in film for quite a bit, Matthew began starring in student films and commercials for small businesses on and off campus. This would make Matthew a local celebrity, but nobody really noticed it yet until one day he met a man at a bar. This man would change his life forever. This man would introduce him to the famous director, the director Richard Linklater. Now, this would cause this would give Matthew his big break and the break he desperately needed. He introduced Matthew to Richard Linklater, and they hit it off immediately. He actually casted Matthew and his up and coming movie, Dazed and Confused. This is Matthew's first big role and his first movie. Uh, Matthew was cast as the role as David Wooderson, one of the leading roles and. This really took Matthew's career like to the next level. This is where he became Matthew McConaughey. Uh, after that, he actually started a few more movies, Lone Star and A Time to Kill. As you can see, my beautiful drawing. It's kind of ironic. After the turn of the century, Matthew shifted his career to romantic comedies. Here he starred in The Wedding Planner and uh, Failure to Launch. He starred in a few other non-rom-com movies, but not too many. He eventually got so fed up with rom-coms that he altogether quit acting for two years, and completely quit rom-coms. Like, he will not act in them anymore. At all. Like, that's how bad they got. In 2011, a new era began. This era is known as the McConaissance. This was almost like a rebirth for Matthew. In 2011, after two years of strictly no acting, he finally resumed acting. And I mean... Finally, everybody was anticipating this, and he got his first role back as Mickey Haller in The Lincoln Lawyer. Um, this movie is really, really good, and it's about a man who operates his lawyering in the backseat of a Lincoln car. <laughs> Ironic, right? His role in The Lincoln Lawyer completely flipped his career around. This landed him roles in Magic Mike and The Wolf of Wall Street, which are two very very well-known movies. Well, I mean, his other movies are great leading up to this point. Matthew McConaughey's absolute pinnacle came when he was casted as the role as Ron Woodruff in the Dallas Buyers Club in 2013. This movie is absolutely astoundingly amazing. It is so good. It is an emotional biopic about a man with AIDS, McConaughey portrays this role beautifully. It is, it's, it's quite dumbfounding how amazing he is. It's amazing. It brings AIDS awareness. It, it brought a tear to my eye. I'm pretty sure it brought a tear to literally every single person who's ever watched it eyes. It, it's, it's just amazing. I'm, it, it's the type of movie that you want your career to be defined by. Matthew McConaughey is known for a few things, and he will always be remembered. His career, personality, and effect on the world are so timeless, will never be forgotten. His awareness towards the AIDS, which helped tremendously. His philanthropy, which has helped a lot. His iconicness and his impactfulness are all some things that will forever be remembered by.